What's up Sun Rays? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about natural hair products that I can't stop buying. So these are products that I find myself picking up over and over and over again um, with or without a sale. So um, I just thought it was a fun video so I thought that I would share the products with you now when I share this list there's gonna be some things that you're not gonna see and you're probably gonna be like wait a minute wait a minute she always talk about these she said they're her favorites they're on her favorites list and why aren't they in this video well one or two reasons they're either moving down on the list and new things are coming and I'm thinking about doing a video like that, the things that are moving down and the new products that may not be in this video that I'm really starting to like are going to be moving up because I see myself purchasing those uh, as well. But so far, they haven't been purchased as much as these. So we're going to see. And then the second reason why you may not see it is because um, I'm probably out of it and just don't have it to show or because I'm out of it it has you know my memory you know out of sight out of mind that type of thing so anyway these are things that I had here on hand that I was like you know what I'm always getting this 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 let me share it with the people so before I get started on sharing with you what I cannot stop buying let's go ahead and talk about my hair my hair is a wash and go using the Alake Naturals Creme Brulee. Um, I do have that video coming. If it's um, if it's already up, I'll link it here. Um, real simple on the face because I'm not going anywhere, just in the house today for the most part. I didn't do a lot on my face. So on my face is just the uh, Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator because I'm trying to use it up and get rid of it. I just have some mascara on my um, lashes and I have a bronzer which is the Milani bronzer you guys know that I use this all the time this is one of the bronzers that I use all the time um, this is the Soleil number no. five and then I just put a little bit of Milani luminoso cheek color on the apples of my cheeks so that's what's on my cheeks and my face. And then my lips is a brown lip liner, which is the NYX lip liner in espresso. And then I just have on the NYX a la mode lip color. It's just a uh, nude lip color in the middle. That's it. Nothing special. And then I just have on some gold hoops. That's that's it for what's going on. Nothing special. Okay, so now let's get into the video. So, the first thing that I find myself buying all the time, ever since I tried this gel, I fell in love with it. And every time I see it on sale, I have picked it up. And every time I see it on sale, I'm probably going to pick it up. And that is the Aunt Jackie's Grapeseed, um, Grapeseed Style and Shine Ice Curls Glossy Jelly. I love this gel from the first time that I tried it I mean I just love the way that it just glided onto my hair how it just held my clumped my curls and held the curls and even though it's a softer hold the curls last for a long time in my opinion I could definitely get a week out of these curls if I wanted to but y'all know me I usually don't go a week my top is usually five days unless there's extenuating circumstances but I like this gel. It's just the right thickness. It adds shine. It adds clumpage and curls and bounce to the hair. So I like it. I don't feel like it's drying. I feel like it's more of a moisturizing gel as opposed to some other ones. So yeah, this is something that I just cannot quit and, buying. And Speaking of Aunt Jackie's, another thing that I can't quit buying is the Aunt Jackie's Frizz Patrol Mousse. So ever since I've tried this, I have purchased it more 
on uh, more than one occasion as well and I love these two paired together so if you're looking for if you're a, a wash and go girly who likes to use mousse and gel combos this is a great one in my opinion it has not done me wrong I do have videos using it I'll link there um, so yeah the on Jackie's mousse is one that I really like with the gel and I also like it on its own uh, for a twist out as well so <clears throat> can't go wrong with that and then the third thing in this on Jackie's collection or not collection but this on Jackie's portion of the video <laughs> is the Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. So it's almost out and guys, I don't have a backup of this. I, I need some more. So I'm hoping that they will have a sale pretty soon and I can pick up some more. This leave-in conditioner really, really shocked me. So when I first got it and I saw how runny it was, I was like, ooh, this is not gonna do anything. When I put it in my hands and I put it on my hair, I was like, ooh, this is not gonna do anything. But I'm telling you guys, this does have some moisture. It doesn't feel like it going on. It's not as emollient or uh, you can't feel a lot of the oils and stuff in it. Um, like you can some other ones it's not as heavy as some other leave-ins but it definitely packs moisture in my opinion you have to let it sit on your hair for a while and when I use these two the, together I have moisture when I use these two together I have moisture if I use all three of these I have moisture so I like it I feel like it pair because it's so light it pairs with a lot of things as well um, so if for no other reason I'm gonna pick this up just because I like it with these but also because it's so light um, that it doesn't give you a whole lot of curdling like some other leave-ins will do with certain products because they're thicker and got more stuff in them so yeah these are definitely three items that I just cannot stop buying so there you go okay so next thing that I just cannot stop buying is this Eaton, Laven Eaton Body Works Lavender Aloe line. I'm just going to say the whole line. So, well, I'm going to say these because I'm not sure what else they have in this line. I don't think it's anything, but if they do, it may be like an oil or something. I'm not big on oil, so I don't have that. But as far as the co-wash, the deep conditioner, the anti-breakage deep conditioner, the leave-in and the gel, I have been buying these since I tried them. I like this line from Eaton Body Works. And to be honest, I liked most of Eaton Body Works lines. Um, I, the Almond and Marshmallow was, it was just okay. And the um, Papaya Caster was just okay. What I did like from the Papaya Caster was the styling cream and the co-wash. I like those, the leave-in and all that I could, I could do without. But I definitely like the uh, regular shade coconut line as well. But this one I liked when I first tried it. I was skeptical. I wasn't sure. There were mixed reviews on it. But these products, my hair loves these products. The co-wash is nice and moisturizing. You can definitely feel that it's cleansing your hair. But it is so moisturizing that you can finger detangle with it. And it just makes your hair feel really good and supple. It doesn't strip your hair. And then when you go in with the deep conditioner, the anti-breakage deep conditioner, it's thick, but it goes on pretty well too. And I always sit with heat with my deep conditioner. So when I go to rinse this out, my hair feels so buttery soft with this deep conditioner. This is what I have heard mixed uh, reviews on, but for me, I like it and I would continue to purchase it. And then, man, when you go in with the moisturizing leave-in, I really like it. I feel like it starts to define the hair a little bit, but it makes the hair feel really good and supple. When I use this, my hair looks dark for some reason. There are those certain leave-ins and, and, and products that sometimes when you wash your hair, makes your hair look really dark. Um, this is one of them for me. And then when I top that leave-in with this smoothing gel, perfection 
perfection for me but I like soft curls I like big hair I like to put my hands in my hair and feel my hair and not a whole lot of grease or stickiness or gunk on my hair I don't like to feel a whole lot of crunch so you're not going to get crunch with this gel you are going to get definition you are going to get hold but you're not going to get crunch and you are going to get some volume so if you are someone like me who likes a volume who likes fluffy hair that moves that feel good that you don't mind someone putting their hands in then this may be one that you want to try i have used these so far i have had no flaking whatsoever so that's another thing that i love about it so yeah yeah i will be man even body work started getting rid of some of their lines recently and i was like it better not be the lavender line and luckily they're keeping the lavender aloe line Thank you, Eden Body Works. Don't take this. I'm going to tell you something. If it look like they're taking this, I'm about to just go ham and purchase all of these. So I have them in stock. So, yeah. Can't stop purchasing this. Okay, guys. So the next thing that I cannot stop purchasing is the Obian Naturals Curl Enhancing Custard. Ever since I tried this years ago, when I first started my channel, I have been using this and I usually stock up on it because I can only get it from the site. When I first started using it, I could pick it up at Sally. Sally's doesn't carry it anymore. So you can only get it from the site now, I believe, or you can catch it on Amazon. You have to weigh that sometimes. Amazon is more expensive than the site and vice versa. You just have to see. But when I see it and it's at a good price, I pick up multiples of them. So I have them on hand. This is a custard, but to me, it feels more like a cream gel. It's not one of those custards that's slimy. It's one that you can scoop out and it looks like cream, but it feels kind of like a gel and it clumps my hair beautifully as well. Um, it has a lot of hold to it, in my opinion. So I like this. This is another one that I use with different things and I have not gotten any flaking out of it. So this is going to always be in my arsenal as well as long as they don't change the ingredients and everything and it still performs as it always has. I will continue to purchase this. Love it. Okay guys, so the next thing that I found that I cannot stop purchasing is from She Sent It, and this is the Tahiti Cocktail Curl Enhancing Jelly Custard as well. You guys know when I tried this, I was pleasantly surprised. I was like, oh my gosh, I really like this, and I love the leave-in to this line. I don't have it on hand. I'm out of it. And this is a new jar, so I haven't opened it because I want to get the leave-in before I open it. Plus, I want to try some other things. But this is one that, again, gives my hair definition, gives my hair movement, gives my hair longevity and hold, but it's soft and it's movable and it's not crunchy. So I like this jelly custard. So this is another one that says jelly custard. It's not one of those slimy custards that you're used to, like the um, Bee Girl. It's not like that. It's not like the uh, main choice you know, gels or, you know, sometimes you can get those slimy custards. It's not like that. Like the uh, pattern is a little bit more slimy. This again is one of those ones you can kind of scoop. So it's more like a, let me see. Oh, this isn't new. It is, I just used a little bit out of it, but you see it. So it's more solid. So you can scoop out of it. It's not one of those. So I just like the texture. Again, it seems like it's more of a cream gel as far as the, um, texture to me well yeah it's kind of like a gel but it has a you know it has the color to it i'm not gonna say a cream gel because it's not white a lot of people when you say cream gels they think of a white color so it is a different color but it's definitely more gel like consistency and not that stringy consistency so that's what i like this is how i like my custards to be like this and like the obia just a little bit thicker so this is one that i have been buying over and over and over since i tried it so love it as well as the leave-in to this line okay so let's go uh, back old school a little bit so a couple other things that i keep buying over and over is the curls blueberry bliss products so I really like their reparative hair wash and if you guys look at it it's down to here so I had it upside down um, ready to use it up in my shower 
and then also the reparative leave-in love these i like the twist cream too and i like the deep conditioner i don't have the conditioner on hand i'm out of it so i don't have it here to show but i do see myself buying those over and over again as well not so much the twist cream i haven't twisted with that product in a while but i definitely like the shampoo the deep conditioner and the leave-in this leave-in is really good it's moisturizing it's just thick enough as you can see it's not running down but it also spreads out really nice and evenly and it pairs with some um, styling products that I like so this is always going to be on hand because of the fact that it pairs well with things that I style my hair with um, and maybe the matching leave-in to that styler didn't work for me or I didn't like it this is one that usually works so I love this product and I keep buying it over and over and over again. So, yeah. So, another, um, this is a styler that I keep buying over and over again is the Main Crush Curl Teeny Styler. I've talked about this numerous times on my channel. I'll leave those videos here if I can, at least one of them, um, so I don't run out of uh, cards. But this is a really good styler as well. This one is new, have not broken it open. I haven't used this for a while, so maybe I'll break open the Curl Teeny and try it again on my channel pretty soon. Okay, so this consistency is thick, but it's kind of tacky. It's very reminiscent of the main choice Tropical Moringa Pearly Braid Out Glaze. And speaking of that, I should have had that up here because I buy that all the time too. But the Tropical Moringa Pearly Braid Out Glaze, you know how it's kind of uh, thick but still kind of taffy like this is somewhat like that a little bit different but very similar to that but it works well in my hair I like it An another soft hold another one that gives me great volume and definition and one that I continue to pick up this is the only thing that I pick up from main crush so I usually only pick this up around Black Friday when they're having their blue Friday sale I'll pick up a few of these and just have them on hand that's it i haven't really gotten into anything else from main crush um but this when i first tried it it impressed me so i just keep picking this up and i'm one that usually will not purchase one thing normally i will say you know what i won't repurchase because i'm not going to just buy one thing from a brand that is my mentality that's how i normally work but for this because it's a styler i have bought this but I only buy it around Black Friday or whenever they're having a, like a sale that looks like a Black Friday sale, I might pick it up if I need it. And that's because it's hard to find stylers that work and give you the look that you want sometimes uh, and the feel that you want. There's a lot of stylers I have that give me the look. My, You guys will say all the time, your hair looks so good, your hair looks so good, but I don't always get the feel that I like. This gives me the look and the feel that I like. So I think it's worth me just purchasing this over, you know, a shampoo, just one shampoo from someplace. Cause you can get shampoos or a dime a dozen, leave-ins, conditioners. I think you can find those things elsewhere where you wouldn't have to buy that one product. Um, well, hold on, I'm going to preface that with one thing, but Normally a styler is one that if I have to just buy one thing, it's gonna be the styler, okay? So this is it, love Crotini. So let's talk about what I was saying before. I don't normally purchase just uh, a leave-in or just a shampoo. I don't think it's worth it. Here's an exception. The Sotanicals Frizz Wiz Curl Defining Leave-In. I love this. I like it, I like it. I don't care for Sotanicals. Um, a lot of their products, don't intrigue me and the ones that I have tried that did intrigue me uh, didn't perform like I wanted them to I still have the frozen over there I have to buy you guys have been asking and asking and I finally got my hands on it I think not this past Black Friday but maybe the one before and it's still sitting there unopened I see it and I keep saying I need to try it but I won't go over there and grab it I need to I'm gonna put that on the list but this I keep purchasing when I see it on sale if they have Black Friday. So I've purchased a couple of these so I don't have to do it again. But I love this and the reason why is because this is a defining leave-in. So it defines the curls when you put it in your hair. And so when I'm using a lighter whole gel like the creme brulee or the or lighter texture I should say, it works well to keep the curls defined, okay? So that's why I've been purchasing it because it goes well with this. 
and it goes well with the aloe berry from Alakay as well. They're both kind of lighter type gels which they work but they're lighter type gels and this works well with it and because I know that I have kept purchasing it. I am on the hunt now to find other leave-ins that work well with those so if I don't want to purchase this or they get rid of it or whatever I have some other ones to go to okay so right now this is the only thing that I get from Sotanicals. Um, I had I do like their knot sauce and I have a couple of those but I haven't purchased those in a long time but if I do I can get those from Sally's or whatever but the knot sauce and the frizz whiz are the um, two things that I that have that I've purchased over and over but I really like this the knot sauce eh, I can take it or leave it but right now I like this so there you go almost to the end guys almost to the end let's go ahead and talk about Camille Rose because y'all know it had to be in here right so I have seen myself purchase over and over can't stop purchasing the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk this has been my staple moisture milk since I went natural love it love it love it love it okay now I haven't talked about I have talked about it recently but I but before I talked about it just recently I hadn't talked about it for a long time or if I have talked about it I've mentioned it but I hadn't shown it on my channel and that's because I have been trying other things because I know that I like this and I talked it up so much that I wanted to start talking about other milks okay but it's still in my arsenal and I still love it the other thing that I can't stop buying from Camille Rose is the algae renew uh, deep conditioner love this deep conditioner these two both perform well every time i use them i have not had an issue with either of these this works as a leave-in this works as a moisturizer you know a cream i prefer it as a moisturizer over a leave-in but guys it is so good it is so good and i believe it's glycerin free and i think that's why i like it too and it works well because it just gives you the moisture and everything without you know the glycerin so you don't get as uh, puffy hair and stuff like that sometimes like you can get when you use glycerin if it's humid out or sometimes your hair can feel a little bit drier if you use glycerin if the air is dry this doesn't have it so this just keeps my hair moisturized no matter what the uh, climate is and the temperature is so I love this and I love this deep conditioner so these have always been in my arsenal and they're going to always stay in my arsenal so yeah can't stop buying these can't stop buying these okay guys going to talk about the other hair milk that I love and been repurchasing over and over and over again and that is the Curl Love Maracuja Moisture Milk this is really good this is up there with the Camille Rose. This is thinner. So when I just need something real thin, I'll use this. This works really well as a leave-in. So I do like this, how it applies to my hair as a leave-in over the Curl Love. But I like the Curl Love as a moisturizer over this if I'm needing some really uh, good moisture. This one, both of them work well scrunching in the hair. So I'm always gonna have one or the other, one or the other, one or the other because they both work well. They have not flaked on me. They uh, pair well with a whole lot of different stuff. So yeah, the problem with this is you have to order it from Curl Origin. So that's why it hasn't kicked Curl Love out yet because Curl Love you can find on the ground. This you can't find on the ground, but this is good. This is good. All right, guys, let's move on to Nature's Little Secret because y'all know that had to be in my stash too, right? Of the things that I can't stop buying. And I went on and I'm just going to pull them all out at once. So I pulled out two deep conditioners. I like all of Nature's Little Secret's deep conditioners for the most part. The mixed fruit one is not my favorite. It's probably last on my list. That was one that was... Um, seasonal or you know it came in and out every once in a while she has now made it a permanent um, item on her site people loved it people ran raved about it but at the time that I was introduced to nature's little secret it was out so the one that was available was the rose one so I tried it and I fell in love with this I fell in love with this rose hydrating deep conditioner so it's always gonna have a place in my heart and then um, I also like the coconut milk strengthening deep conditioner so I pulled these two out but like I said I like the agave one as well 
loads of slip with all her deep conditioners in my opinion so um i don't think you can go wrong with either one but for me the mixed fruit is on the bottom of the list i didn't want to bring all of them out so i brought these two so the uh, coconut milk is a strengthening one and then this is a hydrating one so i just showed one of each but i love these i have repurchased over and over and over again i also love her shampoos i didn't bring the cucumber one i do like it but um, it is a, it's like a nourishing uh, shampoo, all purpose shampoo, whatever you wanna call it, it's just a shampoo. There are other shampoos, moisturizing shampoos, hydrating shampoos, whatever, that I like just as well. So that's why, and I have repurchased that. It's not that I won't repurchase it, but I wanted to use, I wanted to showcase the clarifying shampoo instead of that one because Clarifying shampoos are harder to find really good ones in my opinion as opposed to moisturizing shampoos. That's me. That's my opinion. I want a clarifying shampoo that feels like it is cleansing my hair without squeaky, without it stripping it and without it, without me hearing that squeak, 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 squeak. I prefer not to hear that. I prefer not to feel stripped and my hair feeling dry and my hair feeling tangled and stuff like that. I prefer not to have that with a clarifying shampoo. That's why I like this one. I love the fact that it has a nozzle, can get right to the scalp. I love the fresh lemon and rosemary scent that it has. I love that it's thin, but even though it's thin, it lathers up great and it cleanses the hair without stripping it to the high heavens, okay? So that's why I chose this. So yeah, this is one clarifying shampoo that I will keep in my arsenal. I have found some other ones that I like too, but it's just something about this one. This one just seems like it lasts a long time because a little goes a long way and because it's so thin um, and I just like it. So that's gonna always be something that I purchase and I have purchased and then y'all know I'm always talking about the avocado moisture cream it's down to here but I already have some over there I keep repurchasing this over and over and over again too this is another moisturizing cream that I love it's another one that I can scrunch in for moisture but I also like it as a leave-in it goes well under all of nature's little secret products and it goes well under other products that I've tried it with so this is really good it's just the right texture to give you the moisture you need but it just it soaks into the hair real nicely I am big about putting products on my hair and them soaking in I don't like to see a whole lot of white sitting on my hair I like to see it soak in. I like to feel that it is in there and this is one that does that. So love it. And then when I pair it underneath the okra uh, curl defining cream, guys, I just showed me using these two on a short. Look at my shorts is there. And I also did it on a um, reel on Instagram, I believe. And y'all saw my hair. It defines my hair so well. I love this. This is another one that looks like a cream. And this is called uh, a defining gel, but it look, it's more like a cream gel. Guys, love it. It works, it works, it works, it works. And then guys, last but not least, the Anasi uh, Aloe Hibiscus Leave-In. I have been purchasing this over and over and over again since I tried them. And I love this. I think this is a really good leave-in this leave-in is what is in my hair now underneath the creme brulee and they worked well together so this is one that i know works if i cannot find the sotanicals the problem is the sotanicals is a defining leave-in so it helps to define a little bit more with this this one i got a little bit more uh fluff and frizz but that's okay because this does have glycerin i think in it so it gave me a little bit bigger hair but it still worked well my hair is moisturized my hair is soft and i just like it smells good it's just the right thickness it soaks right into the strands i can't say any more about it love it so this is one that this is a product that i just keep buying as well and will continue to purchase if need be so yeah guys um that's it so that is it for products natural hair products that i just cannot stop buying and 
I love these. I told you why I like them. They work. They just work. So let me know if you have tried any of these. Let me know if any of them are your favorites that you just can't stop buying as well. Let me know if there's something else that you just can't stop buying that I didn't mention here that you think we need to know about. Put it in the comment section below because we want to learn from you. And guys, like I said, I think I'm going to come with one, another video sharing with you products that I used to love that are now kind of moving down on the list so other things can go up. Let me know if you're interested in that. If you are, put that in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you share with someone you think may benefit. And guys, that is it. Let me know what you think about this wash and go as well. And I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.